When was the last time you did something that scared you to death? I mean it. It made your heart race. You questioned whether you were capable. You questioned, why am I doing this? When was the last time? I used to be able to say, traveling around and meeting people in person and painting. But now when people say, Dion, what is the thing you love to do most? Is it painting on furniture? Is it canvas? Is it mentoring? Is it staging photography? Like of all the things that you do, what do you love to do the most? I now say <laughs> building community, meeting people in person, and yeah, standing up in front of people and painting, asking them to join me, telling them to come paint flowers. That's the good stuff. Our latest workshop was in Bernie, Texas, in a small, quaint town that I loved so much. I wanted to do this particular piece with flowers on it because I was with Debbie and we were teaching in person. The very first time I ever thought to paint flowers on a piece of furniture, the idea actually belonged to Debbie. So I thought, um, let's go full circle years later. And she messaged me and said, do you remember how you finger painted your flowers on that canvas the other night on the live video? And I said, well, sure. And she goes, you need to do that on furniture. And I went, Oh, you're crazy. Like, it's hard enough to finger paint on the canvas, but on a piece of furniture, who would, who would be so crazy to do that? I spent years looking for the perfect paint for me, the one that made me feel like a better artist. Enter DIY paint. I did not realize that this dream paint even existed. But then it found me, basically. When Debbie Beard first asked me to try her paint, I really doubted that it was as good as she claimed it would be. But I was hooked. From the very first time I used DIY paint, I felt more confident. So recognizing how it made me feel when I would do my furniture work and my canvas work, I thought, if it can do that for me, what else can it do for other people? So my confidence grew, and here I am traveling around and meeting you guys in person and showing you how you also can turn your furniture into artwork and create a business. Well, I ended up being that crazy, and I did it, and I, I remember the piece perfectly because it was a beautiful entry piece, and it was very well made, and it was curved, so it was like a half circle. Flush with the wall, half circle. It had two beautiful doors in the front, and then the side panels. So I used black velvet, I painted the whole piece, and then I used the side panels as kind of a canvas. So I broke it up into sections and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna do one big bouquet, but I really had not learned how to finger paint like I do now. So I just kind of threw clumps of paint on and sprayed it a little bit and threw another clump of paint on. And Now our beautiful friend here in this video was sitting in that green velvet blouse. Sarah and her sister Kathy have a lot to do with why Debbie began DIY paint and they were kind of a critical point as to making that happen for Debbie. So it was very important for her to be here and to spoil her in her community and customers and staff with all of our DIY community that was so gracious and so kind. So we were off to a great start on our VIP night. Now here's where the good stuff happens, you all. We always encourage an interactive experience. Debbie always insists on a skit just to break the ice. We always figure we'll look silly and then it's easier and more acceptable for everybody else to be just as vulnerable as we are. <laughs> it started developing into a floral bouquet and I took the front doors and instead of doing flowers on them, I took some of my gift wrap that I had printed my own artwork on and turned it into gift wrap and I applied that to the doors and then I sanded it back and 
and I turned it into a furniture makeover with hand-painted flowers on it. And Debbie's suggestion went over really, really well. I ended up selling that piece within just a few minutes. It is now in Florida. And um, showing up in Bernie, Texas today and having um, people, I'm always trying to do something different. Some of these workshops, I have familiar faces. When someone comes in and says, I feel like I already know you. I know that I've done a good job communicating and nurturing and focusing on what matters most. And that's customers. That's you. That's people. Why do I do flowers? Someone always asks me. There's always someone that says you gravitate more towards flowers. Did you grow up with a garden? And you know, I don't know why I'm more inclined. I wear flowers. I feel like they bring hope. The exchange of a flower never gets old. Inviting guests like Adora here up to paint with me is such a fun treat. I'm often painting alone. So having guests, Sandy's up here with Debbie, so much fun. And you can see them in the video here, but you may have already seen them in other videos. And I wanted to do something that was different and original. So I decided to use the flowers all over as if they were wrapped in wallpaper. And DIY paint allows you to do that. Um, so four years later, maybe five years actually, oh, could it be six? <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Um, I wanted to take that idea since I was with Debbie side by side and she was blending and I'm over here working on um, doing the flowers and bringing guests up. Both of us were allowing the guests to paint with us so some could do blending and try brushes and some could do flowers. I wanna encourage you to paint what's in your heart. I went with trends. I followed mainstream in the beginning, but because flowers speak to me, that's just what I do, whether I'm using my fingers, whether I'm using a brush, whether I'm looking at an image, a photo that I took, or I'm inspired by a piece of fabric, or even one of my hand-painted wedding dresses. What well, doesn't matter, just go with your heart and that will sustain you. That will bring you joy. That will excite you and give you confidence that you need to take the next step. And more importantly, remember that letting your own light shine does not mean that it dims someone else's. It means that together you glow brighter, you shine stronger, longer, and supporting one another. Teach each other, learn from one another, share your tips. One of my favorite things about DIY paint is that it reactivates. So I can come back a few days later, reactivate it with water and continue my process. That's what I meant in the beginning when I said, it makes my job easier, it makes me feel like a more professional artist, and I love sharing with you all. I love teaching you how you too can chase your dreams and follow that star. Do flowers and they'll say, you make it look a lot easier on the camera. Um, but I also wanted them to see how much paint I was using and how much water I was using. It was really fun to be able to do that years later, to paint a piece and wrap it full of flowers. If you can't find joy in your environment, create one, seek it. You have the power to create an environment of creativity that will sustain you and give you joy each and every 